was a painter that inspired you? Yeah, uh, well, it, it's good you said inspire and not influence, because we are influenced by many people even without realizing it. But p p a painter that uh, inspire me depends on the moments in my life. It started with Paul Clay. I think Paul Clay in the 60s, 1959, 60, when I start painting uh, in California, in north of San Francisco, in the circles I was in, he was extremely important. They were, people talked of Paul Clay, he was the, the example of the painter. Of course, abstract expressionists existed, but in the schools, in the universities, in the circle, Paul Clay was extremely important. And for you too? And for me too. And today? And then, oh, he still is. He still, uh, Karlinski came much after Paul Clay because of the Bauhaus, and also because they were a, a modern art in New York. And there were some amazing exhibits of Paul Klee and Karnitsky, parallel to the great, uh, they were great abstract expressionists. So the American expressionists were my next uh, passion. But in the same time, or a little after, uh, very soon, I loved Nicolas Dustin. Ah. Very, very much. I still, sometimes when I look at a Nicolas de Stahl, I kind of tremble. He does something to my mind. People say sometimes that my work resembles to it, and it doesn't at all. Uh, Nicolas de Stahl works by layers, the couche layers, mm -hmm. and I don't. I have one color, one shape. I don't come back to it at all. That's a major difference already. And we don't have the same inner space. There is some inner space to work. So I I wouldn't say, but it, it, I really love Nicolas Dostal. 